Scotland could be independent on 24th of March, 2016, if voters back leaving the UK in the independence referendum, the Deputy First Minister has announced. The date is included in the Scottish government's white paper, described as a blueprint for independence. Nicola Sturgeon said it was a landmark document which has economic growth, jobs and fairness at its heart. The Scotland office said naming a date weakened the government's negotiating position in the event of a yes vote. The 670-page white paper will be available as a hard copy and as an e-book and will be published on Tuesday. M. Sturgeon said it would be the document that drives the independence debate, providing the positive case for a vote in favour of independence. This guide to an independent Scotland will be the most comprehensive and detailed blueprint of its kind ever published, not just for Scotland but for any prospective independent country, she said. It is a landmark document which sets out the economic social and democratic case for independence. It demonstrates Scotland's financial strengths and details how we will become independent, the negotiations, preparations and agreements that will be required in the transition period from a vote for independence in September next year to our proposed Independence Day of March 24, 2016 and in time for the first elections to an independent Scottish Parliament in May of that year. Greater participation. M. Sturgeon said the document was designed above all for the public and urged people to read it, compare it with any alternative future for Scotland, and make up their own minds. The document contains two categories of policy choice, she said. Firstly, the choices that we will negotiate in the transition period, as the government leading negotiations, and which will therefore provide the starting point for an independent Scotland. Naming the date of independence ahead of a referendum result would only weaken the Scottish government's negotiating position if Scotland voted to leave the UK. Scotland Office Spokesman Secondly, the policy choices that we will make if this administration forms the government of an independent Scotland from May 2016. M. Sturgeon added, the route to a successful Scotland is greater economic growth that benefits all and which supports greater participation, particularly amongst women, in the workplace and the economy as a whole. Ensuring that work pays, for example through a decent minimum wage, is central to our economic and social approach. An initial print run of 20,000 copies has been produced but it will be made available to everyone who requests a copy. The independence referendum will take place on 18 September next year and the proposed Independence Day of Thursday March 24, 2016 follows the dissolution of the current Scottish Parliament, which is said to be scheduled to take place at midnight on Wednesday 23rd of March, 2016. March 24 is also the anniversary of the Union of the Crowns in 1603, a Scotland office spokesman said. Naming the date of independence ahead of a referendum result would only weaken the Scottish government's negotiating position if Scotland voted to leave the UK. People in Scotland still don't know the full terms the Scottish government would try to negotiate but the 28 members of the EU, NATO and the rest of the UK would all know that for the Scottish government the date is more important than the deal. We agree people should read the white paper and the UK government's evidence and make up their own mind on the referendum issue.